What is up guys, Mystic7 here, and obviously as you can see, we are in a brand new place which you will see us move into today. Very, very fun, exciting video today. Now one thing, one very, very quick thing before today's video starts, we're having some YouTube issues right now. And this is to help you, not even to help me, just to help you see my videos when they're uploaded. If you guys go on my channel, there's a little bell, click that, make sure that's on, which means you're gonna get a notification, my video's gonna hit your sub box, you won't miss when I upload a video because yesterday I uploaded a pretty fun video of me hunting on Santa Monica in a mask that is laying somewhere around here. Not a lot of you guys saw it, so check that video out if you haven't seen it, and make sure that bell is checked and enjoy today's epic video. Today is a really busy day. It's a nice area. So no, today like, we're in, you'll see it when we go. Oh, wow! So today we're in Riverside, California, at a in a very nice neighborhood. Actually, and in game we have a very nice little cluster right here. Actually, a solid cluster. There is only one stop around us, so this is very very rural Pokemon Go here. But still, we've got one stop. There's a ton here. There's a Shuppet and a Sableye. Oh my God! If we can get a shiny here, that would be the most random shiny I think ever. Now here, <laughs> here's a, a thought for today, not the plan. So we're here. I don't know how long we're here for, but we're doing a shoot. I'm not sure how much I can share, so I'm not going to share much. We're basically doing a shoot here today. Uh, and then we're, we're way out in Riverside. So Anaheim is on the way back to Marina Del Rey to the Santa Monica area. And if you guys remember the shiny Magikarp, we couldn't catch until we went to Disneyland. So I don't know, depending on what time we leave here and how dedicated I am to finding a shiny, we might actually stop at Disneyland today because <laughs> I'm getting desperate. Oh, God, because we're never going to find one. But yeah, we'll be hanging out here all today doing a little bit of a shoot. Hurley, my guy, you ready? How you doing? Born ready. All right, for sure, yeah. Well, there's a little bit of Pokemon, a little bit of stops. I think I just critical that. And it should be a little bit of a fun day. Critically acclaimed. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're done. Was a successful Hurley? Successful shoot day? Great success. Was a great time. Now I'm gonna go home and play Call of Duty to my eyes bleed because Call of Duty World War II is dropping tonight. So I don't know when this video is gonna be uploaded. It's either gonna be uploaded on I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna be right back though. We gotta go do some hunting because as of right now, the Pokemon Go Halloween event is over. I thought it ended, for some reason, I thought it ended tomorrow, but it ended today, so goodbye increased ghost spawns. Goodbye our chances at a shiny ghost Pokemon. We'll get it eventually, but it's looking like it's probably gonna take a long time. But let me know in the comments how many of you guys actually got your ghost type shiny Pokemon because I'm, for the first time ever, leaving a shiny event without a shiny Pokemon. And I, I'm kind of blown away. I didn't have a lot of time to play, which sucks, but like, we'll get it next time. Yeah, but I'm gonna be, uh, We'll be right back. Cod time. I promise we're gonna play some Pokemon Go today, but first, moving day. Okay, we did it. Here's the office. This is just a very, very rough setup of the office. We still have a lot to set up in the office, including well, there's just so much more space. There's a lot more space in the office, which is great because it's just more room for activities, right? No, but I'm thinking we're gonna get like a shelf right here. The shelf idea that I've always wanted to do where I put the shelf there and then I put like all the stuff that I got from traveling, that'll go right here, but that'll be eventually. And then I mean, for the rest of the place, we're still very, wow, you actually got this, oh, all organized pretty quickly here. What's up, dude? It's been a busy Why morning. We moved this very quickly. Very quickly. Honestly, and so here's, it's kind of coming together. It is, I like it. We got the TV, living room set up, kitchen, kind of somewhat getting there. And then uh, the child is here, that's the most important part. <laughs> this has a lot of setting up to do. And then we're gonna go out and play some Pokemon Go. We have some rates to do, we're hitting Santa Monica tonight, we're getting dinner tonight. It's gonna be a fun evening. Wow, I don't know if you guys remember, about a little over a year ago, we were in the same apartment. It looked the same, completely empty, except we were moving into it. Well, now we're moving out. It's super bittersweet that uh, this is gone, pretty much. Now, today's the last day that I'll have access to this apartment. I turn the keys today, which means this thing is gone. Well, old office, old Mystic 7 HQ, 
Goodbye. This is the last little walkthrough. Oh, I forgot this. Man, this was uh, this was a nice. This was my first ever apartment. This was my first step into adulthood. First step into independence in Los Angeles and kind of in general. So it's good memories. Definitely, it was a, it was a good step. Now, obviously, we've got the three bedroom with Hurley, which is the next step. God, the echoes and sit. Echo. Boom. And it's next week. Come on. Well, I just had to make one more stop in here just to kind of like check the place, give it a goodbye. And uh, now we've got actually an important stop to make. We need to, well, two important stops to make. And we've got a couple important things to talk about. I know it's kind of a little bit later into the video and we're finally getting to the topic of the video. So sorry about that. It's been a busy couple of days. But uh, first stop, second stop, and then during the second stop, information. So yesterday during the move, everything went pretty smoothly except the fact that I dropped, shattered, and broke my phone again. So we have to drop this off, get it fixed, and then go to our second stop, which is the more important stop, but this is definitely still important. So the second and important stop is this place right here, the Suicune Raid. We need to battle more Suicune. I need more in the Pokedex, well not in the Pokedex, but like in the inventory because we have one in the Pokedex. It's not a good one. I'd like some more. We're also gonna talk about some news and then an important announcement, somewhat important announcement that I wanna make about the channel. The news is the Pokemon, the news is Pokemon Go events across the entire world, mainly, well not mainly, the Unibail events, the one that we went to out in Paris. Uh, there was a total of over 59 million Pokemon caught at the Pokemon Go Safari Zone events which were held at the Unibail malls like the one again the one we were at in Paris uh, that was that was insane over 20,000 trainers uh, from all around the world attended all of these events so uh, it was pretty awesome and honestly they were really really fun events so if you guys did end up going to any of the Unibail events let me know in the comments and let me know how you guys did what you guys caught if anything awesome happened I got my first ever shiny Pikachu at that after you know <laughs> catching well over 300 in Japan we got it finally at Unibail you guys saw it in my videos and my Paris videos but it was an awesome awesome series of events and I really wish I was able to hit more and fortunately just because of timing and because of trips and everything uh, I was not able to go to more Unibail events that was my one regret I wanted to hit more countries so next time we do big events or next time Niantic does big events across the world I'm gonna try my hardest to get to them now speaking of doing big events across the world There's some big events across the world that I will also be missing if you guys do remember we did announce Pokemon go week happening in Korea uh, Check out my Pokemon. I did a video totally dedicated to that and the information about that basically It's from November 4th to November 12th and uh, there's just gonna be some events and rare spawns and awesome stuff happening across the country So if you guys are interested in that uh, I will hopefully leave a link or put the video right here where I talk about Pokemon go week in Korea And if I forgot then just look it up on my channel, but that's an awesome big event happening in Korea Now talk about the event that was just announced today or yesterday Which is the Pokemon go Safari Zone to Tori Sand Dune event now This is gonna be a really really cool one that I actually was invited to and unfortunately will not be able to make because We're gonna be in Australia while this is happening so it sucks that we're gonna miss it but we're still gonna be doing something awesome while it's going on and I don't know maybe if, if I can find a way I'll swim on over to Japan from Australia that's no definitely not. I might try to find a way to make the event but I probably won't be able to but here's what the event is in the famous Totori sand dunes in Japan there will be a brand new Pokemon Go event from Friday November 24th to Sunday November 26th trainers of all ages will be able to catch a wide variety of Pokemon including some rarely seen throughout the country while exploring the largest sand dunes in Japan and actually on the picture for this event you can see what we got Bulbasaur, Lapras, Sandshrew, we got Dratini so nice rare Dratini spawns will be happening while this event goes down top back in this battle and hope that we could take it down. I think we have enough people. Also, I haven't really keeping an eye on the Suicune raid. I'm just kind of tapping away. We've got seven with a hundred. Yeah, we got this. What else? Amistar, Pikachu as always. Uh, Kabuto. Oh, Mr. Mime. Oh, look at that unknown back there too. I don't know which unknown that is, but that is definitely, there's an unknown chilling in the back of that picture. And then Toto, oh, and also Mr. Mime. So people who are gonna attend this event, Look out for unknown spawns and Mr. Mime spawns. Same thing we saw at the uh, Pikachu Outbreak event in Yokohama. Uh, but still, that's that's really exciting and really awesome for the people who are going to be able to make that. And again, unfortunately, we will not be able to make that because I will be in Australia. But those videos will be awesome, so make sure to stay tuned on the channel for the Australia videos. And again, I said at the beginning of the video, but I'll say it again. Make sure you guys have the notification bell checked on the channel so you guys don't miss a video because a lot of you guys are missing videos and I can just kind of tell because I'm really good at tracking stats and I know when stuff isn't working right. Stuff right now isn't working right, but also kind of Pokemon Go, the hype's way down because the Halloween event just ended. We're kind of waiting for more stuff to be announced, um, but we'll see. We got 13 balls to get to the Suicune, which I probably should, you know, try to remember what the 100% is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna look that up right now after we Savage Season this. We're gonna get the Savage Season, we're gonna catch it, and then we're gonna leave. And actually do, again, have some somewhat important announcement uh, or information to talk about regarding the channel. I, I, you know what, let me look this up. Well, actually, let me just read the outro to the event page. Pokemon Go Week in Korea and the Pokemon Go Safari Zone event at the Totori Sand Dunes are shaping up to be amazing events. So if you find yourself in South Korea or in Japan during this month, make sure to join in on the festivities. I was not even looking at my 
Pokemon Go phone, and I threw that and got a great. That was impressive. For those of you not able to attend one of these events, keep an eye on the official Pokemon Go social channels. We got the speed code. I didn't even look and I caught it. For all the latest Pokemon Go updates and on our event page for more information about upcoming events. All right, we got the Suicune. I was not even watching. Wonderful with HP. Nice. Okay, this is our first good IV Suicune, and that was our one day streak. So I'm hoping if I spin this gym, this will also be the one day streak because my streaks were messed up. Please be one day, please be one day. Yes, okay. Streaks are back on. That is what's happening with the Pokemon Go event. Now, actually, we're going to go back to the apartment because I've got a lot of unpacking to do. I dropped the phone off at the uh, at the phone fix place, so I'm going to have to go get that. And there's another, ooh, there's another Suicune down that, which way down that way. That's on, I think that's on Lincoln Boulevard. There's nowhere I can park and, and catch that. Also, I'm illegally parked again, so let's hope we're not going to leave this Suicune with another parking ticket. <laughs> and make sure when these events are going down, tweet me any rare awesome spawns you guys do get, including these enormous that I keep missing and I want to catch so I can fill out the unknown Pokedex, but we got the Suicune knocked him down right there we, We're getting lucky. We're two actually let me look at the Pokedex. We are currently perfect on Suicune. We're two for two No, yeah, it's so awesome seeing all these <laughs> legendaries just showing up. I guarantee you this is not gonna stay two for two for long We're not gonna have a perfect record in probably two days, but hey, for now, we're two for two on Suicune, so let me know in the comments or tweet me what is your ratio for your new legendary in your area, because again, two for two. All right, now we're gonna go back to the apartment and talk about a little bit of channel update news, and then uh, get on with the day. Look, no ticket. <laughs> we didn't get a ticket this time, okay. Now back to the apartment. Well, look what I got. I got my fixed phone, I've got tempered glass on this, and I'm actually gonna finally get a case, because since I bought this phone, I've never owned a case for it, and mainly because I like a lot. I like how it looks. It's like the matte black look. I like how it looks without the case, but I've broken it now three times, and I've got it fixed every time, so like, it's still alive. It survived multiple countries. It's a trooper of a phone, but it's time to get a case on it. And actually, I'm gonna get an iPhone 8 pretty soon because I didn't get the X. I didn't order it because of just many reasons, including the fact that it was $1,500, and that's a lot for a phone, especially because, you know, new phones come out all the time. It's probably gonna be buggy, and I travel a lot and break phones a lot. So I'm gonna trade in my, I think this is a 6 Plus, and then my Samsung over here, and probably get like an 8 so that I can uh, I can use that as my Pokemon Go recording phone or even this as my Pokemon Go recording phone and not have to worry about the Samsung life, which I commend you guys for using the Samsungs, but I'm a big iPhone guy. That's today's video. Now, we do, I have an important announcement that I, I want to talk more about on the channel, but uh, I think I'm going to do a video more dedicated to that because it's a sit-down conversation or a sit-down into a raid conversation, and we already did that once today. And uh, I have to edit, export, upload this video right now so that I can play some Call of Duty, so that I can upload it on my second channel, so I can finish unpacking. It's a busy weekend, a lot of things happening. And oh, also, if any of you guys are playing the brand new Call of Duty World War II, it is an awesome game, super fun game, and I'm going to be streaming that today on my second channel. So if you guys don't subscribe to my second channel, there should be a link in the description or on my channel. Just look up Mystic 7 Plays, that's my second channel, and pop by the stream, which should go up around 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, California time. Come by, say what's up. Watch me and my friends play some Call of Duty. Should be a fun time and a fun day. But as for today's video, as for right now, we're gonna end it right here. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure that bell is checked on the channel because again, we got some YouTube issues we're dealing with. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.